Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry's new memoir, Spare, offers a no wolves barred glimpse into the royal family and its deeply fractured relationships. Dedicated to Meghan, Archie, and Lily, and of course my mother, the new book breaks with the royal protocol to never complain, never explain, providing unflinching details of his personal life and estrangement from his father, King Charles III, and beloved brother William, who Harry also calls his arch-nemesis. Kate looked downcast in pictures depicting her in public for the first time since the worldwide release of Prince Harry's memoir. The Princess of Wales was spotted behind the wheel wearing a scarf and a beige coat. Kate was last seen in public on Christmas Day when she, Prince William, and their three children stepped out of Sandringham House to attend the morning service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Norfolk. Today's outing comes just two days after Kate celebrated her 41st birthday, but her celebration was not marked by Kensington Palace with the release of a new picture, nor with a public statement. The birthday fell on the eve of the global release of Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, which includes mentions and allegations of Kate, as well as other members of the royal family. The book includes a passage on the notorious bridesmaid row between the princess and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, which took place a few days before Meghan and Harry's nuptials in May 2018. Harry claimed to have found Meghan sobbing on the floor after a stark text message exchange with Kate, who said Princess Charlotte cried after trying on her baggy dress. In the memoir, the Duke stressed Kate didn't mean any harm to Meghan, who was particularly stressed due to the ongoing issue relating to Thomas Marklesner's attendance at the nuptials. In the weeks leading up to Harry and Meghan's 2018 nuptials, Prince Harry writes that Meghan offended Kate when suggesting she had baby brain after the future Princess of Wales had forgotten a detail about one of their pre-wedding conversations. Kate had given birth to her and Prince William's third child, Prince Louis, on April 23, 2018, weeks before the May wedding. According to Spare, the upset princess said to Meghan of the comment, You talked about my hormones. We are not close enough for you to talk about my hormones. The exchange warranted a reconciliatory tea between the couples after the wedding to smooth things over. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.